Craig, thanks very much. The Midland Police Department says they're having a hard time keeping dispatching units fully staffed. The high volume of 911 calls they receive on a daily basis doesn't help either, especially when most of those calls are non-emergency. CBS 7's Deanne Lopez spent the day in the control room where they were so busy she was barely able to get an inter interview. Deanne? The department is so short on dispatchers that their manager has had to step in and assist in answering these growing number of 911 calls. 911, do you need police? Eva Luna, the communications manager for the Midland Police Department, has had to step in and help answer calls to make sure her employees are getting breaks throughout the day. In fact, we were lucky enough to catch her in between calls for this interview. Since December of last year, four dispatchers have quit. Now they're only 50% staffed. That means people have to work a lot of overtime. That means that we have part-timers that come in and work uh, to bring up the minimum staffing to four or five. The department has even had to ask officers to not call dispatch as much for the smaller things that they can do on their computers that are located inside their patrol cars. Last year alone, the number of emergency calls taken increased from about 71,000 to 78,000. But Eva says a majority of them were non-emergency related, a growing problem that departments face statewide. It is not an emergency unless life and property are in danger, especially life. She says you'd be surprised what people call 911 for. They uh, want to know sometimes information about an event that's being held in Midland that is not an emergency. 